Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome back to St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands. If you've been following along with our trip, we've been trying to find the best beaches on St. John. Today, we are up early once again, and we're going to a more secret and secluded beach, which is not so easy to find. It's called Oppenheimer Beach. The parking and walking situation is a little bit different than the other beaches in the National Park. There's not a clear parking lot and all that, so we're supposed to park in front of this gate. Or actually, not in front of the gate. There are a couple parking spots alongside it because they say you will be towed if you park in front of the gate. So we're gonna walk down and hope we're parked correctly. Well, that didn't really work out. No, the surf is really big today. There really wasn't anywhere on the beach that you could sit. We pretty much scrapped that idea, although on the other side, uh, it did look nice, but maybe on a more calm day. Then we tried Hawk's Nest Beach, which was kind of on the other side of the same bay as same, Oppenheimer, same thing, but it was way too rough as well. So we're back at Cinnamon, although I suspect the sea might be a little rougher than it was yesterday. Hopefully we'll be able to find a little spot to have some breakfast and chill out. All right, Cinnamon Bay is a lot different than it was yesterday. It is very rough out here as well. There are actually about a dozen people surfing out there, which I didn't think I would see here in the Caribbean. But we are very far back in the tree line set up. And honestly, I think we still might get soaked. We were able to eat our breakfast and drink our coffee. We're pretty far back from the water's edge, but the ocean is so strong that we're on constant alert that the surf is gonna come up over this ridge here and get us. <laughs> so we've got all of our stuff in our laps ready to stand up at a moment's notice. this guy loved it because he got to take lots of photos. The waves are pretty crazy. Uh, surfers were loving it. So that was cool. We sat there for a little bit and watched the surfers. Every once in a while a rogue wave would come up and kind of make you get out of your seat real fast so you didn't get soaked. I think the longer we sat there the rougher the ocean got. It was yeah. really really rough. It's definitely getting bigger. We're gonna go, I don't know, take a drive around the island I guess. Kind of explore the areas we haven't been to. Maybe go see what the east end of the island looks like yeah. and get some food over there, possibly. Today is our last day on the islands, our last full day. We fly back tomorrow, so we're just gonna kind of do a little exploring and see. Maybe be a little bit more relaxed today. I guess we've already had our good beach time, which I very much appreciate that time yesterday. It's crazy to see how much can change in just a day. Yeah. Let's go see what else we can find, shall we? seas although it kind of looks like it might rain Kevin says nah but it's a lot less stressful over here because we're not worried about all of our stuff getting doused by a rogue wave so I think we're gonna hang out here for a while and then go get some lunch in a little bit like it might rain and Kevin says it's not gonna rain it's raining <laughs> so it got kind of rainy and windy and I don't know what we're gonna do now told you it was gonna rain she was right what are you gonna do 
It is the islands. Well, we're having a little trouble today. <laughs> yeah, today has not really gone as planned, but hey, that's part of traveling. So, you know, you gotta roll with the punches and just kind of figure it out. It looks like the rain is not gonna stop anytime soon either. It's kind of rolling through. So. Guy. Hey, dude. Since we were over in the Coral Bay area anyway, we just decided to come back to Skinny Lakes and I got another burger because it was so good. This is a perfect place to wait out the rain. I decided to switch it up. Turkey Reuben. basically in a food coma after that lunch and then Kevin decided he wanted to take the difficult way home which is saying something for St. John it is very steep yeah the roads are are definitely a little wild be prepared if you run a car you better be a confident driver <laughs> So since the weather was kind of rainy and crappy, we decided to come back to our Airbnb for a few hours because we had some work we needed to catch up on. But now it's been about four hours and it's time for dinner. So we're gonna go back into Cruise Bay and see where we can get in because it's Saturday night, so it might be kind of busy. So we've got this awesome little Airbnb that is kind of nestled up in the hills and it's really secluded and nice, but it's got a very steep driveway and we only parked down at one time and then decided it was easier just to park at the top and walk down. So that's what we're doing now. It's great, but you gotta walk up every time. Last night when we came to get dinner, it was a little busier in Cruise Bay and we had a really hard time finding parking. It's a very tiny town with tiny roads, but today we came to a lot that's free and we found a spot right away. So I guess it's kind of just the luck of the draw. One thing that you can do is park over by the employee parking for the Virgin Islands National Park Visitor Center. After 5 p.m., the employee parking is open to everybody. So that's a little tip if you really can't find free parking anywhere. We came to this place on the water called High Tide. It's actually the first meal we had when we came on to St. John. And it's going to be our last dinner, so that's kind of poetic. Uh, just kidding. We've got our little cheeky cocktails and we're going to watch the sun go down and it's just perfection. I'm really glad we shared the fettuccine alfredo because it was more than enough for two people and it was very delicious. It's a great way to end our trip here in the Virgin Islands and we are heading home tomorrow really sad about that but I hope you guys enjoyed our Virgin Island series make sure you hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up if you like this and we will see you on our next trip this is Kelly from the Aqua Tourists peace out good morning happy travelers welcome back to st. John in the British oh my god I can't we're not in the British Virgin Islands ah! this dog is so happy <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed our but I hope you guys...